Hi lovies, it's Cherie. Um, I've got a really exciting video for you guys today. I cannot wait to film it. Um, I've got a company that I've been kind of going back and forth with and coming up with ideas for and I received all my stuff and now I'm gonna talk about it. Um, but first we're gonna drink some coffee. Ah, hey, red lipsticks and white cups don't mix. Mmm. Delightful. Okay, so um, I actually heard about this company from Celia from the Homespun Mom. Uh, she sent me a four pack of their shadows in our Box of Awesome video and I loved them. And I went to her site on Etsy to check her out and all her stuff is really great. Um, so I ordered more things. And then I was reading in her little information box that she does custom orders and I was like, wow! I am totally one to like make my own collection of eyeshadows and stuff and she did it for me um, so I'm going to show you guys that and the name of the company is Tater Rounds Beauty on Etsy um, the owner is Victoria and she's super nice and all of her stuff is very reasonably priced I mean every eyeshadow is $3.50 um, lipsticks are $3.99 they all, she also does a line of um, um, nail polishes I haven't tried her nail polishes because I'm trying not to polish my nails but they do look really great um, so here's her business card tater rounds and not only do I love the name but I love that little bigger and she puts her cute little samples on the back of her card um, I probably won't swatch that because it's tiny and I'm greedy I'm a greedy beast um, but I'm wearing her on my face now so um, let me get to her shop so I can give you guys some info but what's really cool about her is she she does custom stuff, which I just think is great. So you can email her and tell her a color that you have in mind or something you've been looking for. And ta-da, she can find it for you. Um, let's see. Okay, so I don't really know if I'm going to be able to do this. So here's my only constructive criticism. Um, she does try and keep her packaging to a minimum. And because of that, there's no names on any of the colors. So... Um, I can't really tell you the names, but I'll try. I'm going to look on her site and see if I can't find them. Um, okay, so the first set I got was a spring set that Celia sent me, and they are just really beautiful. I'm going to swatch these for you so you can see how pigmented they are. Pigmented. Pigmented. Not pigmented. Making stuff up over here. Um, the first color is this um, light bluish white color. Like It's like a smoky white a smoky white. Um, I really like this color. I wore it on my lid a couple weeks ago and a lot of people on Instagram were like, ooh, that color looks good on your eyeballs. And I was like, I agree. Let me see if I can find this duo, or this, what's a four? What's a four? It's not a duo. It's not a trio. It's a four-o. Four-o? That's what I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> here it is. It's, um, this is the Country Pastel Collection. So, and this retails for $18 and you get four shadows. Um, I think that's what this is. The Country Pastel. It looks like mine. See, that's my only negative. Is So, like, if I really like something, I can't adequately explain what it is. Alright, so anyway. So, it's this really nice blue minty color. Let me turn on my light so I can... Maybe that helps. <laughs> I gotta get better at swatches. It's really hard to do this, folks. Um, and I really like that color a lot. The next one is this pinkish color. Do they have the names? Um, I think the first one is called Something Blue, and then this one is called Pink Ballerina, or Ballerina Pink Piggy. So it's like a light pink color with some shimmer. You just want me to sing, don't you? So it's a really light pink. Let me get closer. So I really like that color as a lid color. It's a good base to start out um, if you're going to build up with some crazier colors or if you're going for a light look for the day. This one's a really pretty mint green. This one is called... It's either... I'm going to say that this is called Prince Charming. That's going to be my guess. Um, I'm believing it's Prince Charming. Uh, but it's this beautiful green minty color. It's very spring, super pigmented. I just like that one a lot. Bam. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee! Yeah, I really like that one a whole bunch. Um, and I really wanted to start doing some more looks with these colors, but I was trying to wait until I got everything in so I could show you guys. 
That way if you asked me what was on my face, I could tell you. Um, and then this last color is called Honeydew. And it's this yellow gold color. Like a champagne -y gold. Let's see if I can swatch it for you. I haven't used them, so there's not a whole lot at the top. But it's just a light gold. That's a good everyday color. I like this because it comes with two, like, what I would consider everyday blendable colors. And then it also has, like, two kind of brighter, fun colors that you could do something fun with. Um, Alright, so that's what Celia picked out for me. And I love those four. And so then once she did that, I was like, well, I'm going to buy some more of this stuff because it's awesome. And um, so I went to her site and I really could not believe like how reasonable her prices were you know most shadows are in the like you know five to five to ten dollar range and when I saw hers were 350 I was like I'm buying them all um, so this first color I want to say this one is called it's like skillet or cast iron pan uh, she based it off of the rust that you find in a cast iron skillet which you know speaks to my heart because we cook with exclusively cast iron so I was just like well I have to have that in my life and it's this really pretty you know rusty reddish black very 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 interesting color and it looks it looks just like rust that you would find on a pan I dig it I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet but I dig it I actually think this might make a pretty um, lip color I'll have to look and see if it's lip safe um, on her site I just I love that so much <laughs> let's see and then the next color I picked out was called golden red apple and it is a bright red um, red reddish orange kind of let me swatch that for you it's kind of similar to the um to the skillet I can't remember if that's the name but it's very very pigmented oh it's beautiful ah, I can't wait to put that on my face I just think that's gorgeous I mean I don't even know I don't even know if I could tell you in 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 ex an exclamation point so much I love this um, when I saw it on her side, I was like, it's mine. I will have it forever. Um, the next one that I picked out is called Butter. Well, it's butter, but, you know, we're in Georgia. And it's this pretty buttery yellow. And I think this one is a good everyday yellow. It's not so, it's not like a sicky yellow that makes you feel like, you know, you're going to look sick. Look at that butter. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, but I like all three of these colors together. I actually think that butter and apple would go good, go well together. So those are the three that I picked out after Celia sent me the four. And then I saw on her site that she does custom orders. And I was just like, wow, that's so cool, you know, that I could have a hand in picking out something that goes on my face. Let's have some coffee. And not only that, but I think I've mentioned in a, in a video previous that, like, my dream job would just be to come up with colors and names and like collections and then not actually have to like materialize them <laughs> so this was right up my alley I could just say hey this is the color that I'm thinking of this is what I'm gonna name it can you make it happen and she's like I can Aww. so I just thought that was super cool so this collection that I came up with I'm calling it the garden collection because I was kind of inspired by all the stuff that's going on in our garden and then as you know spring and summer go through you know the harvest and all that kind of stuff so I'm wearing all of that on my face so I'm going to talk about those now um, the first color that I thought of is called green bean and you know green beans are pretty but I wanted to be a little bit shiny so she made me this beautiful green with like silver shimmer um, it's so pretty <laughs> I can't wait to put green beans on my face Let's make vegetables fun, people. Let me shake some out. Um, I just got these yesterday, so I haven't even... Before this morning, I didn't even... I hadn't even played with them. Um, oh, it's just so pretty. Um, it's kind of... Uh, gorgeous. Green bean! I am just so excited that, like, my ideas came to fruition. Um, and this is buildable. You can put it on light, and then you can build it up to a darker color. And it's also really pigmented if you put it on with a primer. I'm not wearing it today, but <laughs> I have a primer on. Um, so that's green bean. And then the next color, this one uh, is called compost. Because we are composting fools up in here. And it is just this lovely dark brown with some gold and silver shimmer in it. Um, we compost a lot and we put it in the garden. So, of course, we had to have a compost color. This is so pigmented, and and they're very smooth. These shadows, like that's just one coat, bam. 
Like, I don't even know if my camera's doing it justice. It's so pretty. Um, so exciting. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that off. Um, so I love that one. I think that'll be a good everyday kind of crease color. You know, crease it up. Um, this next color I'm wearing on my on my crease. So it's in my crease. And it's this beautiful grayish um, blue. And uh, I called it April Showers. Um, kind of like a storm in the spring. It's rolling in. <laughs> Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Uh, it's gorgeous. And it's kind of got like a blue tint to it. You know, for the sky. And then it's grayish. And got some white smoke in there. It's just beautiful. I love this color. I think that would even be a good lid color. Just by itself. Mm. So exciting. Um, so I'm just, I cannot quit telling you how impressed I am with how I imagined something and then she brought it to life. It was just so cool. Alright, so this next color is a really light pinkish gray um, earthworm is what I called this one. Because, you know, every garden needs some earthworms. And this one I have on my all over lid, so it's up here. And then um, it's my base color on my eyelid. <laughs> and I just think this is a cute, again, everyday base color. It's really light, but shimmery. Can you see it? It's kind of like a really, it's a really good like skin tone. Just put it on before you put everything else on. Color. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I heard someone slowing down in our driveway. Nosy neighbor I am. Um, the next color I picked out or created is called Mulberry. And it is a matte purpley berry color. And I'm actually wearing this as a blush. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but as very lightly I used it as a blush. And uh, this one's really pretty. Oops. Just put it all over. There we go. Ooh, swatchy, swatchy. Mm. I really like that one a lot too. And what's funny about that one is I can't remember, but I think she, I told her that I wanted one called Mulberry because we love mulberries. And if you've never had a mulberry, you're missing out. It's the best jam and it's the best pie you've ever had in your life. Um, but she decided to make a matte color and I loved it. <sighs> Pigments everywhere. Um, but mulberries, I've never seen them or heard of them anywhere until I moved to or moved into Atlanta and we happened to have a tree in our backyard and I used to pick mulberries all spring. Your whole backyard is purple. My white dog would be purple from rolling in it. It's just yummy, yummy beautifulness. And this next one, or last one, is called um, Summer Squash. And it's just a yellow, like bright yellow with some shimmer because every garden has to have some squash, especially here in Georgia. Can't be living without no squash. And it's just a nice, pretty, golden yellow. Squashy! <laughs> and then this last product I am so impressed with. I really, it it's beyond my expectations. Um, she's actually rolling out some lipsticks. Um, I think she said today she's going to start listing um, lipstick colors. And so I told her that I wanted a lipstick called Garden Tomato. And this is it. And it comes in this little... Um, like chapstick tube so when I saw it I was like oh I was like this will probably be like a really light you know flush wisp of color this is one coat and it's so pigmented and I just drank coffee so it's probably come off a little bit nope but it's it's just it's so pretty ah, mm. and it's so pigmented and it's so smooth and it's not sticky it's not greasy it just feels so good on my mouth so now that I'm addicted to her eyeshadows, now I'm gonna have to go buy 27 of these, and these are only $3.99. I just I can't get over her shop. I just can't. Um, she's really sweet. She's really awesome. If you're looking for an eyeshadow that you have in your brain but you can't find anywhere, like that perfect color, go and she will try and mix it up for you, and she'll send you swatches, and then she'll make the changes. She's awesome. All of her prices are amazing. Um, I just I think she's awesome, <laughs> and you should go buy all of her things. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be getting 100 more of these lipsticks. So this is probably not the last video I'll be doing on her. Um, but yeah, so thank you, Victoria, from Tater Rounds Beauty. I am so impressed. And I just, I just, I'm like beside myself with excitement. I just want all of these things on my face. Uh, so anyway, guys, I hope you have a great weekend. I don't know. What is today? I don't know. Um, and I will see you guys later. Red lip kiss. Mm -hmm.